When you're selling, try not to be a convincer. When you're saying things like, right? That means you're trying to convince them. Instead, be assertive and be like, yeah, this is how it's gonna be. So when you have someone that's older that you wanna sell mortgage protection to, you're gonna go like, all right, so here's the plan. You have your biggest asset, this is your most expensive bill, and it's growing in value, correct? Yes. All right, so the plan is we wanna make sure that when either one of you guys pass, we don't have the ability to lose this asset. So what we're gonna do is design a plan that's gonna cover the mortgage payments. If you guys ever die, it's gonna make the mortgage payments for you. Okay, and this allows you to have some time to figure out what to do. Are you going to sell it? Are you going to rent it? Do a reverse mortgage? Whatever the case may be, you don't have to worry about your biggest bill right when your wife or husband passes away. Okay, is this your biggest bill? Yes. Would eliminating that bill um, right away if your wife passed help you out? Yeah, would it put you in a better spot? Of course, okay. And then what this plan also does <clears throat> is it's going to pay off your house completely if you die of an accident. Does that make sense? Yeah, so any natural cause death, the mortgage payments are covered, so you have time to figure out what to do with the house, okay? And then if you die of an accident, it's gonna pay off the entire mortgage, okay? So you don't have a mortgage ever again, okay? This is that plan. You write an accidental policy, you write a, a whole life policy to cover the mortgage payments and an accidental policy. You add the two premiums together and then you pitch it as one premium. And then you just write two products. That's it, that's the pitch.